Hello everybody. Welcome to Senior Susie Stamps. I'm Julia Laird and today's Sunday with Susie. We are finishing up my Easter cards for the Senior Center today and some of you expressed an interest in seeing those made so I've got I think four left to make and um, when Peggy was over we decided that we'd make them all on the same format and this is the card sketch that we chose to use. It's um, MFT, which stands for My Favorite Things, and it's the card sketch number 206. So let me how, show you how I cut that paper, because I used a 6x6 six six paper pack, and I've already cut, of course, all that Easter uh, paper. I used some Echo Park. This happens to be a piece of um, Cartabella that I'm going to make a Get Well card out of, and if we have time, we'll make that today also. But the very first thing I do is to take that little glue strip off and you can see it's just a teeny little piece off of that uh, just to kind of get the ragged edge off and then I cut this piece off so that this second piece measures five and a quarter and then I cut my four inches off and that leaves this piece of scrap so these two pieces essentially are scrap. I'm going to use this one though. Then on this one, in order to kind of get the wavy edge, I have a little wavy edge cutter. You could use some uh, decorator scissors or a cutting die, or you could just leave it straight. You could do a tear, whatever you want to do. But it leaves this nice little piece to go on the inside of the card. And so then on this piece, I cut it down so that I can use it on the front of the card. This card sketch doesn't have this piece, but we decided we'd go ahead and use it on uh, these cards. So let me put this paper away, and we'll get to that later, if at all possible, because I wanted to show you uh, how nicely this card sketch makes up a little Get Well card. I covered a little file folder. I got some really inexpensive paper uh, this last week from Paper Wishes, which I needed like a hole in the head, I know. <laughs> But I thought it was really pretty, and I had this little file folder to hold my little project in today. And so it looks like I've got these are the ones we're going to make. These are the ones I'm going to show you. Let me show you one right quick. Just to kind of whet your appetite for an Easter card. <laughs> but you can see this has got the little decorative edge on it, and I put that piece on the inside. I used some stickers. Uh, the um, paper name on Echo Park is I Love Easter and this happened to be a 6x6 pack and I had some of the 12x12 paper left from last year and that's where the stickers came from. This is a branding strip that I made into a little tag. This little Easter Bunny is a uh, Stampin' Up punch that's retired but you still can find them uh, if you look on eBay or Etsy. I just got one, so there you go. Okay, so we've seen that one, and I'll set that aside. Let's go ahead and get started on making these last four cards, and they should be pretty simple and straightforward to get to. I've done a lot of the preliminary work on it, but you can see how cute they are. This paper was just adorable, and I was surprised when I got into my Easter supplies this year that I had a bunch of paper. For some reason, I didn't think I did, and I'm glad I checked before I ordered more because you know how easy it is to order more paper. <laughs> or at any rate, it is for me, um, especially these holidays that are so colorful and bright. I love Easter holiday cards. They're so pretty. And spring cards coming out of a dismal winter. So all I'm going to do is just glue these down and be pretty straightforward about it. I'm using my ATG tape roller today because there shouldn't be much stress on these cards. And I've already got the layers all cut. I don't have them all put together yet, but we're working on that. These were cut aparts, and that's one of the reasons why we chose that uh, card sketch was because I th we thought we could use the cut aparts fairly easily that way. And see, so, you now this was a one of that small strips, so we're going to use that as a backdrop on these cards today, so they're fairly straightforward. I did put a little, well, I think I'll put this up on some foam tape. 
almost forgot and got ahead of myself, didn't I? I think I'll put a little thin strip in there because I've got some glue and I don't want that to drop down in there. And then I'm going to use this little tag right here up underneath that. Right like that. There we go. And I like to use these card sketches kind of as jump points for making cards like this because I don't want them all to be the same. Um, I find that tedious and I, I really think it is destructive to my creativity zone, if you will. We'll bring it down just a little bit more. And there we go, it's ready for the inside sentiment stamp. So I'm gonna put that in this stack over here. I haven't been embellishing these with a lot of bling um, just because they were already so colorful. Let's do the second one. This one, I did add a little bit of uh, brown around the outside edge. It looks like I missed this piece. So let me get my pen over here and we'll just add a little brown to that as well. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Now this was a deckle edge instead of that little uh, wavy line edge. That wavy line edge, I got my cutter from all these, oh gosh, it's been, I know, seven or eight years ago now. And I've looked for one online for y'all, but I just have been challenged to find those. This is a pretty thin little strip here, and I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on it so that we can get it put down without any residue. That little bit of brown will make it nice for a little brown sentiment in there. When you're mass producing cards, if you have an easy card sketch like this, you can cut them and make your packets uh, fairly easily and then assemble them. You can do all your parts, your bits and pieces and everything else and then assemble them in an assembly line and they go really quickly. Um, that's what I did with most of the ones that are finished over here that we're going to look at in just a second. I'm going to put this piece up on some foam also. I'll put the little jelly beans down. We didn't use any of these little tiny cut aparts because they just really weren't quite big enough um, in the scheme of things. And we thought these others would work a little bit better. This looks like it's going to be pretty much the same card as the first one was. Just with a brown accent on it. Let's see what card number three looks like here in a second. I've still got some of those stickers and I may try to find some to go on these. I'll bring that down just a little bit so this little tag looks kind of the right size to me. And there we go. Card number two is ready for the inside sentiment. Let's look at card number three. It's got a little more stuff on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Follow the bunny. He has all the chocolate. <laughs> you know I'm going to be following that bunny. Now on this one, I decided with the bunny, because I cut him out of the plaid paper, that he needed a little bit of a chocolate backdrop. And so we'll see how that works. I'm not quite sure about that. And I stamped a little piece of chocolate, kind of like a little chocolate uh, drop there to go on the inside. But see, I'm, I did the little bunny out of plaid, and I think he's adorable, but with this wild paper that I got going here, he may kind of disappear just a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I got that little rabbit hole cut out of the chocolate brown paper. That's just some linen paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I ran out of uh, early espresso and so I went to Hobby Lobby and just got some brown, a really nice rich brown paper because I was limited in the brown that I had in the studio. Brown's kind of an odd color uh, to find sometimes and this is a really nice rich brown color. Uh-oh, I got him off, didn't I? Let's see if we can get that back up. Hang on, come on. Don't be tearing my paper now. I'm going to start again. <laughs> Here we are. Come on. There we go. I'm going to put this piece down. 
just like we have on the other cards. And I don't want to cover up these brown baskets because I think they're going to kind of tie the brown together in this. And this little piece is going to go here somewhere. And I'm going to go ahead and put this up on some foam. And I can go ahead and put this on now up here, I think, just about there. And then here, maybe this. And with him kind of looking like that, I think that'll work just fine. Now, I'll get my little flag put on there. Going crossways on this one. I think I'll have that extending on out. I'm going to tie this line and that line in with the brown line coming down. Then I'm going to put my little... Uh, brown piece down. Here we go. Just for my bunny hole here. Bring it down just a little bit. Because the ears have um, some foam on them. And I'm going to need to have him down as low as I can get him. So that he doesn't get in conflict with the tag up here. So let's sit him down all the way down here. And then we'll put the bunny ears on. Kind of at an angle, I think. Like he's kind of going, huh? There. I just think those are adorable. This kind of needs a little something-something here, doesn't it? Uh, let me check later and see if the stickers will work on that. And I'm just going to put this little piece here. But I want to put a little brown. And I don't think that this is the right brown pen. Hang on a second. I believe I used a darker one on that. I think it was this one. There we go. Easy peasy, and I'm just going to glue that down flat for a little chocolate drop. There we are. And then I'll do the sentiment in brown ink on that one as well. I don't know. Let me look and see what I got over here. Hang on. We're getting down kind of to the slim pickings on this sheet, but. Um, Maybe this Easter egg might work, but I think that the word Easter is what I'm going to use here. Right there like that. And I think that'll finish that spot up just fine. And it'll go with the pink on the bunny that way. Let me know what you think. There we go. I just think those are adorable. Okay, card number four. Oh, this one's going to be bright and cheerful, isn't it? It's got some carrots in the background. Let's get that put down. These are some wreath dies that I got from Paper Wishes uh, recently. And they had some, they're all season wreaths. One's an oval and one's a round. This is the oval. The round one uh, you'll see a little later. Wow, that's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> that's okay. These are bright, cheerful cards, and I think it'll add to it. So let me do a little bit here. We'll get the inside ready to roll. And I think because the paper is so colorful, I cut a little round piece out of the backdrop for this one uh, for the bunny to mount up on, just in case I needed it. I wasn't really sure whether he would be okay by himself or not <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see just a second here how it works out okay i got that off so let me trim the rest of it just a touch to kind of even it out you can always trim off a little extra it's easy to do hello cordelia how are you i just had a little nudge from my little four-legged friend here that she's still here Imagine that. What are you going to get into today, girlie? Hmm? Okay, I'm going to put the jelly beans. Well, let me see here. What do we want first? I think we'll put this one down first, and then we'll put the wreath on top of it, because it's kind of the drama in the piece, isn't it? That's a big, colorful piece. And I colored it with a Spectrum Noir pen as well. 
as the edges on these additional pieces here. Let's do the hippity hoppity up on some foam and get that ready to put in. Now this little guy here I'm going to put down with some glue and it's going to be covered up with a bunch of stuff so as long as it's glued down pretty well in a lot of different little spots uh, it should be good to go. And it'll kind of just sit there then. Even edge here and up there and then let it fall in place as it will. Okay, I'm going to put the label down first. Maybe kind of bring it over this way just a little bit on this one. Just to look a little different. And then Let's just see. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Right like that. Use the edge of the pink here. Like we did before. And we'll move it down just a little bit. To anchor the bottom half of the card. And then this little guy is going to go down in the center of the jelly beans. Down here. Right like that. And that gives a little backdrop for Bunny to sit on and be noticed. You'd be surprised when you get a wild, funny card like this, how things kind of disappear on you and people don't really notice them right away, even though they are the star of the show. I'm going to anchor him down there on that pink line. And he's got foam up under his ears and head as well. I'm going to angle him going the other way. There we go. And that's ready for sentiment inside. So that's the four cards for today. Let me show you the rest of these cards that I have already made. And then, I think we have time today, we'll go ahead and make that uh, get well card also. Let me get my stuff cleaned up here. Now, this was a little leftover bow from the uh, eggs on that big Z die that we looked at, I think maybe last weekend, maybe the weekend before. This is the brown ink on the inside and a little sticker. Here's another bunny punch, a little die cut um, bow, some sticker, and then just the same basic concept. This one is in pink and another sticker on the inside. Now this is a little tag that I made out of one of those smaller um, die cuts and I went ahead and put some leftover plaid on that just to kind of Brace it up a little bit and made some little small flags for it. Easter bunny, I mean the Easter basket and brown ink on the inside. And here's another one. This is part of the brand, the branding strip. And I um, edged it with two different pieces of plaid paper. Hoppy bunny is uh, a sticker. And this one is the same as the other one. And some stickers on the inside. Shake your bunny tail. <laughs> ah. And this is a die cut that I got just recently. I had to, to fold his ears up a little bit to keep from covering up the hippity hoppity. But uh, that's what the inside of that card looks like. Now, this is a different tail. This came off the, uh, the punch from Stampin' Up. But this little bow die came with that little bunny. And here's another one. And again, this is the second one of those little bows that I had left over from the big Easter eggs that I die cut. And this is the last Easter card here. And I think they're bright and cheerful and uh, they'll be easy for the senior center director to send out. And I think they'll enjoy them. Now, let's go ahead and get started on this Get Well card. <clears throat> I have plugged my hot glue gun in. I'm gonna turn it on because I have a flower that I'm gonna wanna put on this. I'm, these are side folding A2 cards and I'm going to glue this down with my ATG gun just like we have been. I wanted a really simple uh, get well card to have on hand. You know I keep those in my stash and in the card rack here for people to come and get if they need them but uh, sometimes 
I like get well cards to be kind of a little sedate. Not always now. Trust me on that one. And this one, I think I'm going to put a little brown edge on that because I don't like that white paper showing. And this hole is going to be completely covered up, so it's not any big deal at all. And that Cartabella and on the Echo Park paper, the paper pack itself is not 6x6. Six six. It's 6x6+. Six six plus, and it gives you enough room to cut the hole off before you get into your 6-inch piece. Not all paper packs are that way, and sometimes when you are pulling your paper off in those smaller paper packs, you rip it back past the 6-inch mark, and then you got to figure out what you're doing um, with your paper cuts to be careful so that you've got enough paper to use for what you want to do with it. We're going to do the same treatment on the inside here, and I'm going to leave the inside sentiment off until I know who I'm sending that to. Got a little glue on the inside and that'll just brush right off and I'll go back in with my little uh, eraser and get the rest of that inky stuff off. Now on this Get Well I didn't have any paper that kind of went with that so I got my uh, Evening Evergreen stamp pad out and a brush and just brushed some ink onto this paper just to make a little green backdrop on it and I thought that worked just fine real simple little card to make doesn't take any time at all and when you cut your 6x6 paper down that way then you've got plenty to use and I can make another entire card out of that piece uh, fairly easy this was the extra piece off the end of that one and if I had wanted to I could fussy cut that and add those flowers there but I thought maybe I would do a little cloth fabric uh, flower here let me see if my glue's hot enough yet okay we're back I think the glue's ready now it was having a, a lazy itis moment here there we go and I'm going to set this one up here and let it kind of pull all the elements together for me and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of this leaf and stick it up underneath there and there we go cards done so a get well card and some Easter cards bonus <laughs> y'all I hope you have a great week and uh, I'll talk to you again soon bye bye y'all